Okay, go ahead. Well, here we are again. Class is in session, ladies and gentlemen. We just thank you for uh, coming again tonight. Uh, our purpose is to just help folks to be able to navigate um, around their website and uh, how to um, navigate the OES. And so tonight's five topics, four topics and actually questions, we're just going to go through how to disable or allow the pop-up blocker on Google Chrome. Sometimes folks, when they use OConnect, that situation happens. We'll try to walk you through that. Uh, the second uh, thing we'll go through is, again, how to share the on-passive video shorts and send it to social media. We'll also uh, go over, again, the uh, on-passive blogs and how to share those. And then we'll do a quick overview of how to enter the YouTube contest. We don't have long, and we don't want you to miss out. And then if there's time, we'll be monitoring the chat to see if there's any questions. Now, if we get through the session and you didn't get your question asked, make sure that you go back to the video recording. It'll, it'll be on Janet Butler's YouTube station. Go to the comment section, put your question in there, and we'll monitor that throughout the week so that next week in classes and session, we'll go over those. Uh, one of the questions that was in there that we missed last week was about the pop-up blocker. So Janet, class is in session. Great, thanks, uh, thanks, Daryl. Um, all right, so tonight, guys, what we're gonna do is uh, we will get started with um, pop-up blockers. And I will start um, by sharing my screen with you guys and we will go through let me just um pick a, a website here uh let's um we'll we'll start with google all right i will sh share my screen let's go with this screen here there we go all right and so for pop-up blockers, and the main reason we want to show you this is we've got we got a, quite a few questions over the last week. So thank you to those of you who are sending in um, your questions so that we can tailor our class in session to your needs. And one of those was the pop-up blocker so that when you go to OConnect and you're redirected, you're told that you have a pop-up blocker. So let me find, okay, this site here doesn't have it. So let me find another site. Let's go to Yahoo Log. And I believe there, yes, here we go. So this is a great site here. All right. So some of you, and I'm in Chrome, okay. It may be a little different in other browsers, but on your other browsers, the same type of uh, set, uh, same type would um apply um, up here on the top left you will see a little lock okay i'm going to go ahead and click that lock and typically there'll be some options in here now for some of you an actual menu item in here may actually show pop-up page is blocked and there'll be a toggle that you can go ahead and click as you can see here on my page it doesn't show and so for this we're going to go into site settings okay and notice that we're automatically in privacy and security and that's because we had clicked the little lock okay so it'll automatically take us there and what we're going to do is just scroll through this menu and in here you're looking for this option right here pop-ups and redirects oh you know what let me make my screen larger i remember i did that last time there we go um no this one here we go and let's go here there all right so that makes the screen a little larger all right so what you're looking for is pop-ups and redirects and over here to the right you're going to see this arrow and right now on my computer, it's actually blocked by default, okay? So that means that I, I have websites 
I have pop-ups blocked. And you'll see where it's, you can go allow or block, all right? So you wanna make sure that your setting for this is on block. Now, if you, another option, so let me go through that actually again. Um, let's go back out and okay so we're back here at a web page okay i'm gonna just close that okay so we're back here at a web page i went up to lock i then went to site settings and daryl made um a cheat sheet with the instructions and he's going to place it in the um in the chat and i will also place it in the comments under this video as well at the end and so you can find it in there so site settings we click on site settings and then in the menu make sure you're here on privacy and security which you should be you find pop-ups and redirects okay and right now you can see i have it on block and block so if you're on if you are trying to do the o connect and it's telling you that you're blocked go and check this out if you don't see the little lock on the top then you want to go over here to the three dots you want to go to settings you want to click on privacy and security the page looks a little different, which is it's supposed to. Now, by doing it here, you're actually doing it for all sites, okay? So we're going to go to Site Settings right here. And we're going to scroll down. And find Pop-ups and Redirects. I'm going to click. And you can see here, don't allow sites to send pop-ups or use redirects. You want to click here. Sites can send um, pop-ups and use redirects. So you want to click there, okay? And that will allow it to happen, all right? That will allow you to be able to be redirected so that you can be re redirected to the OConnect webinar. Okay, so we will stop there for that. So that's how you will disable pop-up blockers when you're trying to join an OConnect webinar. All right, our next item on the list. Um, let me go ahead and add you back. So there you go, Daryl. Is there anything else on that topic that you received any questions about that maybe I overlooked? He's not there. There we go. No, I'm having, um, I'm looking at the chat and I tried to post it, but I don't see, I don't think all of it got posted. Okay. I will, um, I will definitely place it in the comments section under the video. Right. I'm getting a, um, I'm getting a feedback. There we go. Thank you, Daryl. All right. Let's move on to um, the next thing on our list is social media. So I want to kind of show you guys what's been going on in the unpassive social media world this week and where you can go ahead and um, and make make comments and show some love. Let me just remove these guys out again for a minute so we can see the full page and okay so we are going to first off start with on passives twitter page okay so i am here oh and let me um just to show you um if you want to find a quick way to get to these this is why I had this up. I'm going to go ahead and dive into this, um, our, our new site that I just absolutely love so much. And I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and note down here where it says, follow us. All right. 
We have Twitter, we have Facebook, we have YouTube, we have Instagram, and we have LinkedIn. You can click on any one of these and it will all automatically direct you to uh, the company's uh, page, the company's Twitter page, Facebook page, YouTube page, Instagram page, or LinkedIn page. All right. So go to onpassive.com and there you go. All right. So let's navigate over to onpassive's Twitter page. And as we scroll through here, you can see we've got um, obviously the contest is the first thing that's pinned here. All right. And we kind of touched on that last week. I hope you guys took the time to go ahead and enter there. We also have um, some O-Connect videos going on, which as you can see, I gave it some love and I commented on it. All right, so a reminder for you to do that. We've got O-Mail going on. And here's some exciting news here that we, um, that we, we got this week is that we're going to be a part of the GTech Global in Dubai. All right. Fabulous. And as you can see, there we are. So you want to go and navigate and look for this and definitely make sure you guys go and give it some love. Okay. And, um, and make some comments in there. And uh, that's definitely something that I've already done and want to encourage you guys all to do that. All right, so that's what's going on. That's the best news that we received this week. We now have on Passive's Instagram page. All right, make sure you're following it and you can definitely go ahead. And now for this, uh, when you go to this page, as you can see, the contest again is pinned. Go ahead and click on and then you and then you can scroll through from post to post liking and commenting all right same thing Oh, there we go. Now, here we are at on Passive's Facebook page. Same thing. You can scroll through and see um, and check those out. Like and comment. Okay. Now, I am going to take you today something new. That was just a quick review from last week. We are going to go to the on passives blog. All right, let me scroll back and do that again. We go to the onpassive.com. Click on here, the three, the menu here, and there's the blog right there. Okay, we click that. And here is the blog. Now there's lots of different things you can do in here. First off up here at the top right, it's also an easy way to go to any of the company's other social media channels. And here you can see that we have all um, just an overview of some of the topics or blogs that are going on, okay? or we can scroll through like this and you can view them all. Right here on the top would be some of the popular ones. Let's, let's just go through. Oh, here, let's go on this one. So we can click on it and there's a, a lovely article where you can learn all about what's going on. And again, the popular ones are now over here to the right. And you can share these as well. All right, just by going ahead and clicking, I'm going to go ahead and share this one on Twitter. As you can see, it automatically pops up on my Twitter page. And 
and I'm going to go ahead and just tweet that. All right, I'm going to back out and do that again. And I'll go a little bit slower this time. All right, so let's start out here at onpassive.com. And over here to the left, we're going to click on the menu. These are all of the pages, all of the um, passive.com pages that are, are uh, it's a faster way to go to their pages. So we're going to click on the blog page and then it loads. Okay. There's categories up here to the top right. Okay. When I put my hand on the arrow here. These are all categories. So you can kind of decide what you want to know more about. Um, and this will help you to, to learn a little bit more about um, the solutions that on passive is coming out with or some of the industries that they're going to be that they're educating us in. So let's click on Omail. All right. And as you can see, I'm now here to blogs that are all about Omail. All right. Let's do that one more time. On passive.com. Here we go. Go to the blog. I'm going to click on over here. I'm going to arrow over to categories. And this is where I would recommend you guys where recommend you go to learn more about the um, passive products and solutions. So as you can see, if you click here, you're going to see a lot of different blogs talking about OConnect, blogs talking about OTracker, ONet, and OMail. We're going to go, let's go to OMail. And now that we're on this page, I'm going to scroll down. And this is a blog about how to make email your go-to tool for client communication. So if you click here, you're going to learn all about the strategy of that. Then we have optimizing email communication for organizational success. So these are all topics of how the how OMail is going to help. All right, five benefits of having a dedicated email security solution. So if you have folks that you want to teach about Omail and security is their current issue that they have maybe with their current email provider, this would be a great article for you to send them to learn about Omail. And so let's go ahead and click it here. And as you can see, you can read all about it. And then down here at the bottom is how you would share it. OK, you can share it to your Twitter page, your Facebook page or your LinkedIn page. What I would what I would recommend is if, if you wanted to share this particular article with somebody because you want to get them interested in Omail and um, you're trying to grow your organization, you can go ahead and copy this link right here copy and you can email it to them along with your affiliate link and you can have them check out the article let them read through it see the benefits of it and then since you would have sent them your affiliate link you can go ahead and tell them to now click your affiliate link and they can uh, join create an Omail account and become a part all right so that's just a way I'm going to hit the back button here, the back button right here, and that now takes me back to all of the other Omail blogs that I can scroll through and look at. And a lot of these blogs, are some of them are going to talk about features in Omail. This one here, what you need to know about email auto responses. Uh, many of you may have uh, recently heard there was quite a bit of talk about that um, last week um, 
as well as some of the OTech pros were also talking about um, mass emailing. And then here you can just toggle for more, for more options. Scroll up. All right, I'm going to take you back up to the categories. And then again, here we can click on O Connect. And you can see there's lots of different blogs in here. Well, actually there's there's two for O Connect. <laughs> there's also vlogs. Let's go on there. And so up in the categories where we were, when you click on something, let me click back here again and get O Connect to load. You can check to see if there's blogs or vlogs. All right, so for those that would be interested in watching a video, we can just go ahead and click here. Oh, <laughs> sorry, that's taking a little bit to load. Well, there you go. That gives you the, um, the idea for that. All right, so you can check as well. Let's check another category. Let's go to ONET. And as you can see, ONET has blogs as, uh, as well. And ONET also has vlogs. There's a couple in here for ONET. So you can um, go ahead and click on these and share. I'm going to pause that. Let's see, uh, copy the link. You can go right here as well and copy this video link. And you can paste that to email that to someone again with your affiliate link. All right, I'm gonna pause on that. Let's go back. So I'm going to pause right there, Daryl, um, and check in with you and Raphael and see if you see any questions that may have popped up or if there's any comments that you'd like to make on that so far. Uh, one situation, um, Rafi and I realized, we can't post for everyone else to see. We can only chat privately. So I don't know if we have to okay. be a co-host. So what I can do is send you the notes and maybe you can post them. Let's see, chat, oh, wait a second. Uh, Rafi just sent me a notice. A uh, chat is good, no questions. So let me exit screen, look at chat. Yeah, see, it won't let me chat with everyone. So okay. what, I, what I did, I'm going to, you can um you can WhatsApp me those notes or email them to me. Yep, I'm doing it right now. Yes. Okay, you have them. Fabulous. So, folks, what I what I learned on that situation was the the videos, the video blogs, um, being part of the uh, a little bit older. Um, generation of on passivians a lot of terminology i don't understand and uh i know videos but i didn't really understand vblog so that's one thing i learned tonight and uh then to be able to share that link right along with my the the video link right along with my sharing link what a great way to just build like janet said build your customer base just by sending someone an email and saying, hey, we, you know, we have a very secure email. We have a uh, very secure social media platform. We're coming out with other tools. Um, would you like me to send you some information? And then say something like, here's an example, and then send them a, a vlog and then have your sharing link. It's so easy. We're not selling, we're sharing because people sure. are looking for security. Is a huge deal today. So great job. Um, thank you for going over those uh, uh, step by steps, uh, nice and slow. Yes. With the recap, really appreciate that. And um, 
that's about about it for me on that one. Oh, don't forget, folks. Couple weeks, it's over for the um, the new YouTube contest, and we don't want you to miss. That's right. We only have one week left. Um, oh, yeah, why yeah, don't one, time is one week left? Yeah, we're at the end. Yeah, the end of the month, and we're we've only yeah we're next week. Next weekend we'll be wrapping up the contest. Uh, why don't I go over that um, real quick here and do like a quick recap before we end tonight, and um, and then we'll come back and just check the chat. Let me go to the YouTube channel. And um, let's present, share screen. Here we go. And there we go. Loading. Full screen. All righty. All right, so we are now on on Passive's YouTube page, and take um, take a look just to kind of reinforce um, the pop up blocker that we started with um, at the beginning of this video. As you can see here, there's the little lock. Okay, and um, I'm just going to go ahead and click it, and there's that um, pop up that I was telling you that we didn't see it on the first site that I was at, but as you can see, I have pop ups and redirects as allowed the toggle is on if i click the toggle off that means i will not allow the page won't allow me to do any redirects so you want to make sure that that is on okay so on this particular site we were able to see it and then again remember um, if you do not see it you want to go to site settings and i will just to reinforce that i will just show that one more time because it's right here pop-ups and redirects and as you can see i have it as allow all right so let's go back to the youtube page and this is a great video actually um this this one came out four days ago so this is a new one All right, so that's going to go ahead and circle. And what I want to remind everyone is that when you are watching videos on our social media sites and you're commenting and liking, please make sure that you allow the video to play all the way to the end. That is so that we can get the maximum benefit out of the algorithm the algorithm um, aspect of the of the social media site so that we can get um, those comments and, and those likes to kind of maximize, okay? So make sure you have them watch until the end. Now, where was I? Let's, um, we're back on the YouTube. We want to go to, oh yes, I was speaking about the contest. Let's go ahead and close this. And we, I want to be here. This is where I want to be. Okay. And we're going to log, oh, I'm, there we go. We're going to log in. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Uh, let's quickly go here to, yeah, there we go. So we are here on the pop-up, okay? And here are the instructions. Step one, you want to make sure that you've subscribed to the company's YouTube channel, which as you can see here, wait a minute, let's go back. Let's click it. So step one, click it, and you wanna make sure you are subscribed, okay? Then we're gonna go to step two, and you wanna make sure that you like this video. We click it, and this is the video. I'm just gonna pause it. Um, again, you want to make sure that you play this video out all the way through and make sure that you have liked it. 
Okay, that's step two for entering the contest. Step three is you want to comment with your OES ID on that video. So here is the video and you want to make sure that you put in your OES ID here. Okay, so that's your OES unique identifier number. I'm just going to put some random numbers there. And then you want to hit comment. You can also leave a comment here as well, um, thanking the company or anything else that you would like to say. And then step four is you want to share it on one of your social media channels. Okay. So for that, you want to click the share button. And as you click the share button, you can choose whether you want to share it on your Facebook page, your Twitter page, or any of your other social media pages that may pop up here for you to choose. For instance, LinkedIn. All right. And as you go ahead and do that, let's show you what that's going to look like. I will click to put it on Facebook so you can see it. And it said you needed to hashtag win with on passive. All right. And remember uh, to use this font, capital W for win, capital W for with, and make sure on passive is all in caps, all right? And then you hit post. And that's a quick recap on how to enter the contest. You have one week left to do it. All right, let me bring my fabulous co-hosts back on here with me. <laughs> There we go, Daryl. I'll um I'll scroll through here and see in the chat if there's anything else. Okay, and as you're doing that, I just want to let everybody uh, be reminded that this is be being recorded. You go to Janet Butler's YouTube channel, and you then can comment uh, below. Let her know what you uh, felt about tonight's session, and if there are any questions, we will monitor those. And then we'll bring those questions up and hopefully find some answers um, with our next session next week. Great. I don't see any other questions in here. Um, so I, I, our goal is to be focused, to bring to you some things real quickly. And, um, and so there we go. Oh, um, actually, I do have a question. How do I join a club? That's a great one. Um, Chris, we will definitely prepare and um, and bring that up next week. I, um, I'm i going to take some screenshots and make a little presentation with some screenshots to, um, to show that because I do not want to go into the OES um, on a live open platform. So we will definitely add that to next week. So those of you who are here now and you want to learn about clubs, you want to learn about, um, tell us what else you want to learn and we will create a presentation where we can show you some really nice screenshots um, and share with you the process for that. Well, great, great, Janet. It was a great session. Don't forget your homework, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Join that contest. Share those <laughs> blogs and and vlogs and and yeah. uh change your shoes too no <laughs> i'm just kidding all right folks we just want to say thanks to janet Raphael. thank you for monitoring the chat for us and we'll say good night yep thanks guys see you next week and remember let those videos play all the way to the end <laughs> all right bye bye bye